Friday, November 25th, the Cuban dictator Fidel Castro passed away. Being so close to the beautiful island nation, many of its former residents reside here in South Florida. When the news was announced, countless people joined together in celebration. Since many of the staff here at South Aid are native-born Cubans, we wanted to talk to them and know their reactions to the news. I went to Calle Ocho, I went to um, La Carreta, Versailles with my flag, Cuban flag, ah, because I am so happy. Too many people say, you are so mean, why are you happy if some, somebody died? It's no, God don't accept something like that. No, this is not somebody. This is a criminal person. So the passing of Fidel and his system, uh, which has uh, been replicated in other parts of the world, is, is despicable and vile. And uh, being a believer, I truly do believe that he is in hell somewhere. For Spanish teacher Mr. Surya, the emotions he felt were so deeply personal, he could only express them properly in his native language. Muy poco a poco, de, eh, de, de, de espacios, pequeños espacios de libertad. With many Cubans, the name Fidel Castro is a negative all by itself, although the memories that come with it are much more than negative. I also remember my parents turning off the television set uh, because they were televising the mass ex executions that were occurring at that time where people were really uh, being arrested for any reason, even just being suspect and lined up against a wall and shot. And that was televised uh, to uh, enhance the reign of terror. My old family was to the jail, everybody, for 30 years and for 20 years, all the family go to the jail because they were again Castro. To many, the future of Cuba looks fixed. Since years before Fidel Castro died, he handed off his power to his younger brother Raul, and the country has remained the same since. Although, his death has always meant a great deal in the hearts of the Cuban people. Esperanza. Esperanza, sueños. El, el tratar de, de poder tener una vida un poco mejor, una vida un poco más libre, una vida más sincera. Reporting for Riptide, I'm Isabella Lorenzo.